Okay, now this again. So, <clears throat> the ultimate goal is liberation. Jojing the mobile is your zhengwu. And just want to remind you, liberation. Is fundamentally discovering the truth. Uh, <coughs> this is something called skillful means. I don't know whether. Those who are new, you know, you you know this. Uh, uh, means uh, not the end. You know the means are very challenging. You need means, skillful means. You need that means. <coughs> but we have to just always remember that's not the end. 善巧方便,這個方便或者方方法,我們當沒有正德這個目標的時候,我們需要這些方法,可是我們永遠要記得這個方法並不是結果。But you know, this is always difficult to uh, you know, many times we get attracted to the means, not the end. 可是我們常常會被方法所吸引,而不是被那個目標或者是這個結果所吸引。like the great Zen master said, looking at the finger instead of the moon. So, similarly here, the liberation, the concept of liberation is painted in many, many different ways. Uh, a one who is liberated is named as the Buddha. 已经解脱的人, 呃, 他的名字叫做觉者, and we even have a description of what the Buddha looks like. 我们甚至有这个描述, 记载说佛陀的相貌, the Buddhists say he looks amazing. 呃, 佛教徒说他看起来非常殊胜, but if you ask him, how? Tell us. Does it mean he has a six packs? <laughs> 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 the you know, broad shoulder muscles, does he have that? <laughs> then we hear, oh, you know, to begin with, he's a golden color. <laughs> Now, would you go to a date with someone who looks like gold? And then he has an antelope like ankle. Antelope like an ankle. Antelope is a little bit of a little bit of a Anyway, you know, in order to make the people have attraction towards liberation, so many these kind of color and you know pictures are painted, and some many times it works, but other times it becomes a distraction. If there is a Thai person here, a Burmese person here, 
it's better to speak to them. The Buddha looks very serene, begging ball, bare feet, you know, begging for arms every morning. It sounds nice. 如果我们在座有这个从泰国来或缅甸来的人，所以你这种状况，你可能对他们描述说：“哦，佛陀是一个非常祥和，呃，赤足托钵，每天早上托钵乞食，非常祥和的这种形状，可能比较好。” If you tell them a Buddha, if you if you depict the how the Buddha looks like, say. You know, many of you must have been to Parping. It's a very beautiful place called Parping. There's a, and that's supposedly one of the Buddha's place. And the Buddha is a Vajra Yogini. And it's not he; it's she. And uh, sometimes this Vajra Yogini is Vajra Varahi, pig head. You don't want to say this to the Burmese; they will have a heart attack. <laughs> What kind of Buddhists are these? 可是如果呃，你跟他说这个佛的形象是像诸位呃，可能有去过这个附近的一个圣地叫 Parping， 这地方佛的形象是这个金刚瑜伽女，而且她不是一个男的她，是一个女的她，或者是有时候被形容是一个金刚亥母，而且是有一个猪的头在上面的，那个。缅甸人跟泰国人可能会心脏发作，心脏病发作是什么样的佛教徒把佛陀想成这个样子 ？You know, generally the world, especially Asia and maybe India, very patriarchal. You know, gender difference. Buddha has to be man, not woman. 所以在这种呃性别观念很强的，像亚洲啊，尤其是像印度这种地方。这个佛陀一定要是男的，不能是女的。Here again, I have to really express this. Always joyful to enter Kathmandu and filling up the immigration form. Gender, you know, male, female, and other. It's so good, fantastic. Everybody must adopt this. 我们就说他又要再提一次，每次进这个加德满都机场，那个填那个移民表的时候，呃，这个性别有男、女或者其他，呃，他说每一个人每一个国家都应该学这个，非常好。It was particularly good yesterday when I arrived because I was just doing my Tara Sadhana, so I was visualizing, try to visualize myself as Tara, which is a female. It is so nice to sort of. I almost click to what、uh, fill up the other,、uh, but then I thought maybe I will not be entering here. So, 尤其是昨天感觉更好，因为任木切正在修这个杜母，杜母诸位大家都知道是女的，所以修的很进入状况，所以在填那个表的时候，他差一点要很想填那个其他。可是怕他进不来，今天就不能来上课了，所以还是选择男的。Anyway, our aim is liberation. I I will always come back to that. 所以我们的目标是要解脱。呃，那么就会一再的重复这句话。And liberation for now means discovering the truth. 那解脱对目前来讲，我们可以把它了解成为发现实相。Now. First, masam jume shara parujin. The prajna paramita, the truth, cannot be spoken, cannot be conceptualized, cannot be, you know,、um, fabricated. Uh, pure wisdom is this truth, the truth, is not said, not conceptualized, and not made. It's beyond words, beyond language. But here I have to be so careful. You have to pay some attention. Because here, we must be very careful. Everyone should pay attention. When Buddhists talk about the truth that is inexpressible, we are not talking about an almighty, all-knowing, all-powerful truth. Because here, we must be very careful. Everyone should pay attention. When Buddhists talk about the truth that is inexpressible, we are not talking about an almighty, all-powerful truth. Because here, we must be very careful. Everyone should pay attention. When Buddhists talk about the truth that is inexpressible, we are not talking about an almighty, all-powerful truth. Because here, we must be very careful. Everyone should pay attention. When Buddhists talk about the truth that is inexpressible, we are not talking about an almighty, all-powerful truth. Because here, we must be very careful.
the Buddhist truth that cannot be expressed can be pointed out if you have the right person and if you are the right person, he or she can point out and you can get the job done like this. Yeah, it's you a, understand? So it's not like some sort of a mysterious being that cannot be talked about. This is so important. So, so important you should tattoo it on your skin or something. So important. So important. 全能万能的某种神秘的能量，是因此我们没有办法去说它，没有办法用语言文字说它。佛教徒说的这个实相，事实上，如果你是对的人，而且你找到对的人的话，它可以直接给你指出来，而且一指出来，你你就任务就达成
，你从此对你的先生呢，就会有一个一个转移的一个看法，尤其是每当月圆的时候，你都会在那里等着瞧。And and every bulging, you will doubt. Maybe this is it. That's part of bulging. <笑>所以每个那个衣服里面好像。肿出来的东西，你都会觉得说，哎、欸，会不会就是那个尾巴 ？You know what I'm talking about? Shift, shift. This. 所以知道什么就在讲那个吗？就是一种转移。Truth can be introduced. 实相可以被引介给大家。For a very, very remote villager, a Nepali or a Bhutanese. Those who don't know what is chopstick, you give it to them. Look, this is to use to eat. That's it. From then on, that Bhutanese or the Nepali remote villager. They, until then, they may think it's a twig to kindling to make fire, but all that concept is gone. From then on, two sticks are seen as a chopstick. Liberation. You understand? 那对于那个从非常僻、偏僻的这个乡下的不丹人或尼泊尔人来讲，呃，最初他不知道什么叫做筷子，看了两根棍子，可能以为是拿来生火用的。就当你示范给他、引介给他说这个是拿来当吃东西用的时候，从此开始他就知道那个是吃东西用的东西，这就是解脱。Okay, so the truth, if you have the right condition, right teacher, everything, it can be introduced without using the words, language, examples. None of this is necessary. So, if the situation is correct, if you can meet such a teacher, the truth can be introduced without using the words, language, examples, or using examples to explain it. But you have to be very open, also, of course, of course. 可是当然，你也必须非常开放，当然才能够接受。Okay, so let's see. You and I, we are not. We don't have that kind of faculty. Let's say. 可是像诸位在座或者什么些说，你我之间没有这样子的这个呃办法。So for us, we need to speak. So, in this, for us, we need to learn logic. We need to develop logic. Okay. So, if we learn logic, we learn logic. 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 So, if we learn So this is what is going to happen, and the view, and especially the view that Buddha really, really meant it. Okay, is what we are going to do next five days. 那所以这个见地，而且尤其是这个佛陀，真正真正代表他是了意的这个见地，就是我们未来呃这几天要谈的。And if you are, okay, simply if you are asking what what are we doing here, we are. Learning Buddhist view. So, 简单的说，如果你说我们到底在这里做什么呢？我们在学习佛教的见地。And the, knowing the view, one that knows the view is what we call wisdom. 了解见地就是我们所谓的智慧。The view, I cannot emphasize enough. View is the most important. 那么就要一再的强调，见地是最重要的。It is the view that differentiates the different religion。是见地来区分的不一样的宗教。Religions are same. People say this. It's a total bullshit. 
。有人说：“哦，一切宗教都一样的，这全部都是屁话。” All religions are not same. 所有的宗教不是一样的。Probably, superficially, there are similarities. 也许肤浅，表面上呢有一些类似的东西。Buddhists will say, "Don't steal." I'm sure the Christians will say, Muslims will say, Hindus will say, but where it is rooted, the view makes everything different. 这个佛教徒可能会说不要偷盗，那基督徒呃穆斯林或者是这个呃印度教也可能会说一样的事情，可是当那个所有的宗教最基本的见地是不一样的。This is important, huh? The view is I cannot emphasize this enough. 这是非常重要的，我们就要一直在强调见地。You know, so many many misunderstandings, especially you know, every time when I watch like BBC, you know, like panel panel discussions, the supposedly scholars, all religions are violent. It's not true. 嗯。所以，尤其是常常人们就说看到这个，像 BBC 里面，在这个论坛啊，一大堆学者在那谈说，哦，所有的宗教都有暴力的倾向，这事实上是不是真的？不是事实。For instance, like Buddhism and Jainism, there is no reason to be violent. 也对佛教跟这个舍那教来讲是没有理由要用暴力的。The big boss of Buddhism is the Buddha, who left everything, wife, children, palace, everything, and left. What is the reason to be violent for? 佛教的老板，这佛陀放弃了所有他的宫殿、家庭、小孩、王国，去森林里面，有什么好暴力的原因呢 ？Of course, Buddhists are not necessarily. Perfect, like me here. I'm a very good example. 那当然，佛教徒就不一定就是都很好的例子了。那么就说，像在这他自己就是一个很好的例子，不是一个好的佛教徒。So the view is one that differentiates the religion. 所以见地就是区分各种不同宗教的最根本。Not love and compassion. 不是慈悲。Not some, you know, like nice behaviors. 不是什么善良的举止。If you lost the view, let's say in the Mahayana Prajna Paramita, if you lost this, you have lost Buddhism as a Buddhist. 作为一个佛教徒，如果你失去了像我们这样在谈的这个大乘佛教的波蕊智慧这个见地的话，那你就已经失去了佛教了
in the Mahayana, they have these categories such as generosity, discipline, patience, diligence, and concentration or the meditation or the samadhi. But the wisdom, without the wisdom, all the others are totally useless. 在大乘佛教里面，我们有谈到这个布施、持戒、安忍、呃、精进、禅定跟智慧。那可是如果没有智慧这一项的话，所有其他的都变成无用。Without the wisdom. All the other, all the uh, sort of disciplines, practices, a mere tool to bind ourselves in this delusion again and again. If没有智慧的话，所有其他的这个纪律或者是这种这些修持，就其他的五度呢？ 都只是一种工具而已，而这种工具只是会让我们持续的在这种迷惑里面，呃，被束缚在这个迷惑里面。So therefore, the wisdom is the utmost important. And Prajnaparamita Sutra is where you learn the wisdom. 因此，智慧是最重要的。而波瑞 Trying to think of at least um, uh, what do you call it, begin the text a little bit. Okay. Uh, having prepared a little bit with all the way we, way the Buddhist, Indian Buddhist think. I guess uh, we can try to sort of get into the text. Uh,经过这个先前这些习惯于佛教跟印度思想方法的这种准备以后,我想我们可以开始进入这个经文本身。Okay. The setting is kind of an important. This is very Okay. First of all, 
let's yeah we should consider this was a summit a conference 我们应该把这个心经讲的把它想成是一个像一个一个论坛一个一个会议一样 and um, both attended uh, by both Sharvakayana members of the Sharvakayana and the Mahayana uh, you know Mahayana members 而且是由这个声闻声闻称跟 大乘的两边的这个人都参加 uh, The summit was held in a place called Rajgir 这个论坛是在灵鸠山举行的 And um, Mangada, which is where Rajgir is, is actually quite an important place for uh, Buddhism because the king of the Mangada was a big patron. Mangada is a Mojie Togo. This is the Lingjo San, the Soja Dean, the Soja and um, the king probably sponsored this summit, this conference. And um, the purpose of the summit, what is it for? Of course, world peace. Always, isn't it? And I'm not joking, by the way. You know, it's meant for this. It's not really a summit. It's not meant. Uh, summit was not gathered there to check whether the crows had the truth or not. Teeth. Crows have teeth or not. It's not a sci this kind of scientific, specific scientific research. What 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 does the deers eat? Stuff like that. It's nothing to do with it. So really going to the root. What is it that what is it necessary to make us happy? And uh, what do you call it? Mm. What is the root of all the suffering? Going right down to that. Uh, 主要的目的并不是在去研究说什么乌鸦到底有没有牙齿啦或者是鹿到底吃什么东西为生啊不是这样子的这个科学性的这个论坛而是要真正的追求到这个根本从根去讨论说到底是什么东西能让我们快乐
，因为“三摩地”这禅定这个字被提出来，所以大家一定想到就这样端坐着。Samadhi means zafu, sitting straight, breathing normally, everything that is taught in Aman Resort. 禅定呢，诸位想到的就是有坐垫呐、啊，呼吸缓慢呐、啊，专心呐、啊，所有在这个阿曼旅馆里面教的，大家都想象到这些东西。Of course, we never know. Maybe the all illuminating, you know, the all illuminating that samadhi could be done by Shakyamuni, you know, going through the watermelon, papaya, orange. We never know. Could be. But you don't think, oh, he's not meditating. He's looking at the papaya. He's looking at the whatever. 可是我们事实上不知道，他释迦牟尼佛可能正在看他的这个草莓啊、木瓜啊、什么这些水果。那你不能说他没有在禅定啊，因为我们不知道。Anyway, Shakyamuni was in the samadhi of all eliminating. 就无论如何，释迦牟尼佛在一个甚深的变在光明禅定之中。And the next word is absolutely important. 那下一个字呢，非常重要。Oh, not the next after. Okay, the next after is, uh. You know they were illustrious, you know, what do you call it? Guests or guests is not right. The attendees, the participants of the conference. You know they were great people like Avalokiteshvara, like Shadiputra. All of them are there. And I'm saying it's not the next sentence. It's a bit behind. But you need to know that when they attended, there were people very, very many, and they were all guests, like this, uh, Vinod Shri Pusa, Shadiputra, 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 This is important. I'm, I'm mixing up everywhere. I'm going back and forth. Okay. Among the attendees, among the participants, there were ghosts. That's Very right. important. We need to make note. Every time we forget this. Very important member of the participants. This, 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 就是有鬼在里面，这是非常重要的，一定要大家记下来。Nagas with their snakes, I don't know how the coiling somewhere sitting. Who knows? Just imagine the conference, the gods, the demigods, the ghosts, the nagas, Gandharvas, who have different needs. You know, who don't eat or you know, they can't have a banquet like a normal conference. You understand? Uh, during their, you know, they have all. They come from different places. They they speak different language. They're all there. That's important that we know. 很重要的知道，要知道这个参加会议的人有各种各样的，还不一定说人呢、啊，是吧？有天人、阿修罗、呃，龙蛇，可能这样卷着的。呃，有各种各种各样的这个众生，然后从各地而来，他们有不一样的需求，而且不能像我们今天开会一样，可以提供一样的食物，因为每个众生吃的都不一样的东西。And somewhere there, Avalokiteshvara was also In the state, you know, looking. Uh, I don't know how to how to put this. In uh, you know, meditating on emptiness. Let's call it. You know, out of lack of choice of words, meditating on emptiness. 那在就在这个场景里面呢，在某处，嗯，观自在菩萨，因为缺少语言可以用，我们就说他就在观空嘛，在这修空性的禅定。Again, does not mean that he's sitting there like this. 可是再度的，并不表示他一定端坐在那里。Otherwise, Shariputra will say, "Hey, you know, I have a question to ask you. You know, Shariputra is not that rude." 那舍利子就问他说，哎，我有一个问题要问你。You know, 
Yeah, Tapu is another one too. Abu Lokateshwar may be roaming around, you know, I don't know. Just completely normal. Like so nothing to do with emptiness, like closing eyes, staring, gazing, you know, n n none of that. It indicates, the sutra indicates, because the next minute we have Shariputra asking a question to him. Yes. Now, this is the most important. You know, the second most important I was going to tell you. The curiosity of Shariputra is the blessing of the Buddha. This is so important. The curiosity. Priceless curiosity, goodness. If you can imagine. Shariputra's curiosity give birth. Two hundred thousand verses, twenty thousand verses, eight thousand verses, and the and this. It's so amazing, isn't it? That that curiosity. Actually, you and I are also have a share in that because it is our merit that Shariputra had that curiosity. Uh, Anyway, out of lack of choice of words again, we say Sangji too, but by the blessing of the Buddha. Shariputra asked. So, you know, I don't know, I'm like, he must have asked. <laughs> so, you know, how to go about this Prajana Paramitra? <laughs> Prajana Paramitra. <laughs> And then our Lokateshwara gave these lengthy answers. And this is one what we are going to study. But to do that, now we need to again prepare with the words called truth. And I think you have already heard too much from me blabbering this morning. You are not fresh. You will not pay attention properly. So I'm not going to speak about the truth today. I'm going to let you ask questions first. Maybe we will begin this bit tomorrow. Okay, so okay. To make the our whatever gathering worthwhile, we will also meditate a little bit. But, uh, so we guess, yeah. So ask me a few questions and then we will do a little bit of meditation. Anyway, I'll be talking about meditation. Okay. So please uh, ask me some questions and try to uh, relate to the text if 
possible. So as much as. 问题尽量跟这个主题要有关系。And please don't ask me any Vajrayana-related questions. 那请不要问这个跟金刚圣有关系的问题。Try, try, please. 是，至少努力不要去问金刚圣的问题。Yeah. Do you have, yeah? Do you have questions? If you don't, that's also fine. 没有问题也没关系。And please come to the mic. I think. 呃，到这个麦克风。<clears throat> um, I think that Mipam Rinpoche says that both the third turning and the second turning are definitive meaning. Uh, however, in the Samdhi Nimachana Sutra, unless I am mistaken, it says that when the uh, second turning teachings say, for example, you know, there is no form and so on and so forth, this is provisional. Yes. So how can both be definitive? If in the third turning it says one is provisional, is, how is this reconciled? Mm. This is a very academic question, and um, as I said earlier, the distinct distinction between the Ngedun and Tangdun is quite difficult. Uh, <coughs> 的说法是说，第二跟第三转法轮呢，都是这个了义。另外一个经，另外一个说法不一样。呃，那么就说这是一个非常学术性的一个问题。而且早上他谈过说，是了义还是不了义，事实上跟听者有关系。哦，这个分别很很难，对不起，分别很难。Okay, so I will take this question and that question. Is there one more? Okay, one. Okay, two more. I think that's enough for today because this this is going to take some time. So yes, yeah, please wait. I will answer you. But uh, first, <coughs> first, I need to tell you this. So, so the distinctions is really so much on the okay, the follower, the disciples, a lot. Uh, 了义不了义呢？事实上，这个分别是跟这个弟子很有关系。Okay, one, this is how we distinguish any kind of teachings that he did, did not really meant. Always have what we can, we can ngul and nujie, which means it gets, it can get, it can be deconstructed. The teaching itself can be deconstructed, such as when he say, "Once upon a time, when I was a bird." So he is talking about having some sort of a self, I, and then also the past life, so on and so forth. That kind of statement can be deconstructed. So any teachings or a statement that can be deconstructed. Is usually considered as the teachings that he did not really meant it. So we say this teaching is not the meaning of the word, or the word "not the meaning." It's a distinction that can be made. So this teaching is able to be broken. So, for example, the Buddha said in some scriptures, "Oh, I once was a bird." So this thing is meaning that. 暗示着有一个所谓的自我，呃，跟暗示着有这个过去式在里面。那这个两个都是可以被解构的，所以这个是被认为是一种不了义的教法。Now, as we discuss this more and more deeper level, things get really complicated. 那当我们越往深去研究的话，这事情就会变得比较复杂。I mean. Before we go to the Mipham Rinpoche, which is now you are talking in Tibet, even before that, in India, there was already an argument between the, for instance, like a yoga, um, the Chita Mata school and the Madhyamika school. Uh, 事实上，人们其实在更早的时候，在印度就有很多争论，比如说像唯识跟中观之间的争论。In Tibet, 
the great patrons of Tibet and the translators of Tibet and the practitioners of Tibet, Tibet adopted with us. They really loved Madhyamika and especially Prasangika Madhyamika. 呃，在西藏呢，因为所有的这个护持佛佛教的人，还有翻译者，还有修行者，都很喜欢中观这个派别，尤其是这个呃应承派中观。And the judging from you mentioning about Mithun Rinpoche, I can tell you are you are brain washers are basically Tibetans. 呃，从你提到这个米饭人不切的这个例子来讲。基本上，人们却认为你来洗你脑的人就是西藏的佛教徒。Now, to be really more, what do you call it? If if we try to be more sober, actually, when when we say Madhyamika and the Prasangika Madhyamika are the best, this is only few of us talking, by the way. 如果我们用清醒的头脑在思考的话，我们说哦，中观比较。比较棒啊，或者是这个这个应承派中观是最好的，这只是少数几个人在说的而已。Yes, Tibetans tend to do that. Oh, you know, they're the best, and everybody who is sort of colorful and illustrious people, they try to sort of make them into prasangika madhyamika. You know, the Tibetans even think that asanga is a prasangika madhyamika. 那西藏人就是这样，就是就是，因为很喜欢这个呃中观、应承派中观，所以只要比较有有名或者有成就人，他们都把它归类成呃应承派中观，甚至他们西藏把无着菩萨都认为是呃同一就是应承派中观的学者。Don't forget, Jitamata is way, way, way bigger, larger. In population, than Madhyamika. 不要忘记这个维氏的这个呃爱好者是的人人数是比中观更多。Whole China, 整个中国 Chinese Buddhism, 整个中国佛教禅禅宗佛教。I mean, even today, half of the Buddhist population is in China. 即使在今天，佛教徒有半数的人口是在中国。China had several hundred years before Buddhism of China is several hundred years before Tibet. China's Buddhism is Chinese Buddhism is several hundred years. We cannot ignore that fact. We cannot ignore that fact. Now I just want to throw this into you by saying that you know this this distinction is difficult. 呃，那么就只是要想跟这位先生说，这种区分呢是很困难的。Yes, obviously, me from Rinpoche, you know, belonging to the Nyingma, I would say hardcore Nyingma. He would say this, what you just said. 那么就知道这个米饭人不切是所谓的这个呃宁马派的这个中间分子、强硬分子，他会说你刚刚所说的这些。For instance, in me from Rinpoche. I've kind of forgotten this, but Mipham Rinpoche would say Uttara Tantra Shastra is a commentary of direct teaching. You know, meant, really meant it. Uttara Tantra. Mipham Rinpoche would say the Baoxing Lun is a direct teaching. Asakya Pas would say, oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Asakya Pas. Asakya Pas would say, wait, 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 wait. Gorampa would say, Wait, wait, wait! Because in the Uttara Tantra, Maitreya is talking about the self, the eternal eternity, the clean, non-changing. Wow, you know we have to be careful with this because this looks a bit like a Hindu's Atman. Let's try to tone it down. Let's say this is a teaching that requires interpretation. 也是像这个沙迦派的这个 Gorenka 会说哦，要小心一点，因为在宝信论里面会讲到这个。我常静，还有这个不变，那这听起来跟这个印度教的这个神我好像有点接近，所以我们可能要稍微小心一点，把它想成是不了意的比较好一点。Anyway, finally to answer your question, because it depends so much on the hearer, both can be 
uh, you know, uh, or the what is the teaching that does not require interpretation. Okay. Do you want to ask a question? Um, yes, thank you, Number Two. And my question is about you said before the uh, without wisdom there is no compassion, and compassion is relative. But however, because I've heard some countries they use the concept of wisdom to encourage soldiers to kill to kill people. So also I've heard other teachings like the actually the wisdom uh, without compassion there is no wisdom and the wisdom is the non-dual of compassion and wisdom. So I think what is this about? And also that leads me to another question is uh, if the Buddhas or Bodhisattvas they already go beyond the division of subject, object and they already realize the emptiness uh, which is go beyond the four extremes then how they actually act, uh, act to benefit beings and why they even uh, act uh, <laughs> why they even benefit beings okay thanks the, the the first one i already forgot can you tell me that again <laughs> <laughs> okay so what's the non dual of compassion and wisdom oh yes yeah i've heard we, uh, without compassion there would be no yes. wisdom yeah, yeah but there, you okay. Um, Buddhists talk about three kinds of compassion. And the most important compassion is called Mipa Mepi Nyingje, which is basically the wisdom. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah. I mean, you use a lot of these kind of wor words and not even that, as symbols. Symbol, symbolic. Uh, 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 if you drop to a Tibetan tantric practitioner, what is Vajra? They say, this is wisdom. Of course not. You know, this is metal made in Patan. <笑>你问一个这个密圣修行者 But he can say that because partially it's true because it symbolizes 可是他可以这样说, 因为部分是真实的, 他, Hold on to your two questions It's very important questions uh, You know can you hold on to that question until tomorrow? Because it requires a much longer answer. I will. Thank you, Rinpoche. Rinpoche, can you please explain uh, how or why Shariputra's curiosity arose Due to the blessing of the Buddha, and <laughs> not just by itself, or why other people weren't curious. Wow, such a big question that one. I don't know. It's a really good, <laughs> good question. It's a really good question. Very good question. His question is that, please explain to us why the curiosity of the Buddha was driven by the blessing of the Buddha, and not just by itself, or why now, this is where our the first person who is asking the question, this is kind of important, the Mipham Rinpoche and all of that. Okay. Sanjiji too, by the blessing of the Buddha. Ah, such an important statement. <coughs> because in the Mahayana Buddhism, actually in all Buddhism, especially Mahayana Buddhism, Buddha, Buddha is never outside. If you ask Mahayana people, who is that Buddha who was born in Lumbini? Lumbini they will say, Sultan basically means he pretended, 
pretended. 他回答说他基本上他是假的假装的 So for someone like Ananda, he was the Buddha. 对安南来说他是佛陀 For Devadatta, he was not. 对，Devadatta，他是他不是佛陀。the real Buddha is the Buddha nature that we have. 真正的佛是我们拥有的佛性. And the Buddha nature, because we have this Buddha nature, we do feel awkward sometimes. 因为我们具足这个佛性,所以我们有时候会感到不安,不舒适. Yes, most of the time we get annoyed when the carpet is stained by coffee. 是,当然,常常这个 咖啡倒在地毯上的时候，我们会不开心。When the, the bank balance is low，因为这个如果说银行的这个利率低的时候，我们也不开心。When your colleague is grumpy, I don't know. Most of the time, you know, but other times, even everything is perfect. There's some sort of a you know empty feeling, sort of you know awkwardness. Is this all there is? Life? Isn't there something more important? Breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Is this all? Uh, ah, the curiosity is kicking. Now, this is because there's something called Buddha nature. So it is, it could be, is this Buddha nature, is blessing of this Buddha nature, and there is a, there's also the Shakyamuni Buddha who is in the illuminating, you know, Samadhi. Remember, there, you know, because he's the disciple, you know. So he, there's also the reflection of that. So the both blessing comes together, and the curiosity happens. And by the way, this I'm using a different commentary. The, the Prajna Paramita can be have many different commentary. One is very, very, very Uttara. One is very, very yoga charya way. You know, like what I've just told you, for instance, talks about Buddha nature a lot. Sorry, it's too long. So, uh, we are doing a lot of things. 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 We are doing a lot of 对境的这种感觉我们会觉得说我们生活就是这样子吗每天吃早饭中饭晚饭一直这样一直这样持续有没有更重要的事情值得我们去追求呢这个就是好奇心生出来的这个原因那你可以说这就是我们的佛性在促
We need to see the truth. 我们需要什么？我们需要见到实相。Okay, what is the main opposition to see your truth? 那什么让我们主要什么东西让我们不能见到实相呢 ？What is it that is always stopping you to see the truth? 什么东西一直让我们阻止我们不要看到实相 ？There's many way to put it, but、uh, I, I'm I'm going to use a different way here. 有很多种说法，不过人们现在用另外一种说法。You know, each religion has their own Satan, by the way. 每一种宗教都有那个宗教所谓的魔鬼。You know, bad guy. 这是坏蛋。Buddhists also have. 佛教也有。Buddhist Satan is, you know, this distraction. 佛教的魔鬼就是这种分心散乱。What stops you to see the truth? 什么让我们不能见到实相呢 ？Getting distracted. 就是被分心散乱。Okay, put it another way, having a habit. 或者换一句话说，就是有习气。Habitual patterns. 这种习气让我们分心散乱。What is what is feeding the habit, getting distracted? 那什么让这个习气滋养，长大呢？就是分心散乱。So we should now have economy embargo on this. You know, it's like okay, this is what you want, the truth, right? What is stopping you, the habit? Who is feeding the habit distraction? So now we need to, you know, sterilize the truth. I mean, the sterilize the, the the distractions here. 阻止我们去看到实相的，就是这个分心散乱一直在养这个呃，所以我们要阻止这个呢，要把它消灭到，或者是给它经济制裁。That's important. This is very important. That you know. That's the principle of medit so-called meditation. This is the principle of 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 meditation. This is the So this time, let's do this because I want you know, because I want to I want to sort of really tell you the richness of Buddhist skillful means. 我们现在跟大家讲这个佛教善巧方便的丰富性，所以要啊、uh, ，Let's today we will just okay. Let's look at things. Look at the back of somebody's neck. 我们现在就看那个某个东西，比如说你前面那个人的这个脖子啊，或者是什么东西都可以。Or flowers, whatever. 花都可以。Just be aware of that. 然后就知道这件事情就好。Actually, if you can, be aware that you are doing that. 如果可以的话，你就觉知自己在做那件事情。Did you do it? Did you do it? Please don't sit. 不不必做端正。Don't sit straight, please. 不要做端正。Really, it's so disheartening because I'm a Buddhist jihadi, by the way. 呃，我们就说这是很令人伤心的事情。虽然他是一个佛教圣战主义者。And every time when we talk about meditation, <laughs> 每次我们谈到禅定就这样子 Such a poverty mentality. Is this is the only way? No. I told you before. 非常贫穷心态的一个状态。呃，我们也说过了，不只是有这样的方法
Do whatever you want. Scratch, yawn, do whatever you want, and just know that. 这抓着头也好啊，打哈欠也好啊，只要你知道自己在做那件事情。Cough, 咳嗽，什么都没关系。Get confused, 或者是迷惑。Did you do that? 你们做这样，有没有做 ？That's it. You have done meditation. I'm telling you. 太好了，诸位已经达到禅定了，这人们就告诉他们。You have to trust this. 你必须要信任这件事情。You have done it. 你已经办到了。Yes, it is short. 是，虽然很短。But that's not not wrong. 可是这不是错的。Just be aware of whatever is happening right now. Whatever. 就是你只要觉知任何正在发生的事情。Oh, by the way, by the way, I need to tell you this. Don't think that I'm teaching you Dzogchen or Mahamudra or none. Don't think that I am not. 呃，而且注意，就是不要以为仁波切在教你大圆满大手印。仁波切不是在教你大圆满大手印。I'm not qualified. 仁波切不够资格。I can't possibly, you know, do in this kind of setting. Otherwise, yeah. Nepal is full of dakinis who will just, you know, shrink me to death. 而且这个场合也不对，而且在尼泊尔到处充满了空行母，这个会找人们去麻烦，会会。So I'm smart enough not to do this. 而且很聪明，他不会做这种事情。Every time when someone say, just know whatever is happening now, people see, oh, he's teaching Dzogchen. 每次人家有人说，哦，只要知道现在正在发生的事情，就有人说，哦，他在教大圆满。All the Buddha's teachings, from the Sharvakayana to the Ati Yoga, there's not a single time where he taught. Or dwell in the past, or dwell in the future. None. So just because he say, "Don't dwell in the past, don't dwell in the future," does not make something Dzogchen or Mahamudra. So please don't, don't you dare to say the Rinpoche taught Dzogchen. You have, you haven't been taught by me today, Mahasandhi. You need to know this. For the Chong. 从来的教法，不管是从身份证一路一直到这个大圆满的教法，从来没有说哦，你现在要住在过去，或者你要先住在未来，从来没有这样说过。所以任何教法都是要关注现在的状态。所以，人们现在没有教诸位大圆满大手印，诸位千万不能胆敢去讲说人们现在教你大圆满大手印。嗯 ，kiwi。我们先吃到了这个 kiwi。OK， anyway， so just knowing whatever is happening。就是不管在发生什么事情，就觉知。Did you do that？ 有没有这样做 ？If you have done it， you you should consider。You have done a good meditation. 如果你有这样做的话，你要自己认为已经做了一个很好的禅定。Now you know. Don't think that you have to sort of stretch it for 24 hours. Don't think of that at the moment. 不要去想说你要把那种感觉延伸到二十四小时都这样。现在不要这样想。Why this is so important? This is why so important. Because at that moment, when you are just conscious of whatever you are doing, at that very split moment, you are not distracted. Because in that short short moment, when you are just conscious of whatever you are doing, at that very split moment, you are not distracted. Because in that short short moment, when you are just conscious of whatever you are doing, at that very split moment, Small moment when you are not distracted. If you have managed to do that, it has weakened 
the habit a little bit. I think it's a bit like a, what do you call it, this uh, watch that moves itself, uh, a bit of movement, then it sort of, does it still exist? Yes. Just like that kind of clock, just like that kind of clock will go. If you don't move it at all, it stops, right? If you don't move it, you don't move it, it will stop. The more you move, the more it recharges, so to speak. 你一直摇，它就会一直在继续动。习气，habit gets charged by And the less you have habit, more chance to see the truth. We will talk about that more. We talked a lot today, so I think we should stop here today. We talked a lot today, so I and um, we will continue um, Prajna Paramita. And um, you can do this knowing whatever you are doing. Um, as your practice. And I shall, I will try to connect between the technique I gave you with the Prajna Paramita. And anyway, all of this It's all in the classic Buddhist text. I haven't made up anything. I, you, you know, this, this is all credit to the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and my teachers. And all这些东西都是在经典的这个佛教的教法里面都可以找得到的，它没有制造自己制造任何东西出来，而且这些都是根源，也感谢这个佛陀诸佛菩萨还有他的上师们所教导的。and um, next four days, also, I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about. This is this has been sort of my uh, new sort of recent sort of passion. Well, I still think Rinpoche will talk about a topic. This is Rinpoche's most recent, most passionate thing. Ah. I haven't found the right, right sort of title for this yet. Um, right now I'm using um, you know, teachings or techniques for bad Buddhist. I'm sure many of you, you are not diligent. I'm sure many of you will drink. And go to casinos. And do all sorts of strange things that I can't even think of. 而且做一些人，目前都根本想不出来的那种各种奇奇怪怪的事情
but you can still be Buddhist. 可是你还是可以作为一个佛教徒。And I think that's so so important. 这是非常重要的。I want to see Buddhists on Harley Davidson with the tattoos, with a very tight, you know, leather jackets. I like them. 那我就很想看到这个佛教徒骑着这个 Harley Davidson 的摩托车，穿着这种全身很紧的皮衣。然后全身都刺青这样子。Because I think it's so denigrating and so what do you call it? So sad to always hear oh Buddhist, vegetarian, non-violent, monk, cave, retreat. All those things are dwindling the population of Buddhism. 那么就说，一听到佛教徒，大家都说哦，吃素，然后非暴力，然后出家人，山洞，闭关，什么什么，这所有东西，都造成了佛教徒人口急剧下降的原因。So next few days, I'm also going to promote this a little bit. 未来几天，我就要鼓吹一下这个。So for those who are Those who don't want to hear this kind of thing, you know, you should have a nice earplug. <laughs> 那些不想要听这种的人呢，带请带这个耳塞来。Thank you, Thank you, Mr.